just to confirm the uh, hairy dog isn't shut and is still up and running. Looks like I've had a good night in there last night to be fair. Anyway, I'm just coming here to get this last angle. Let's see if we can get one with the uh, Tillet sign in there. Ah. There we go. Bright futures for young people. With that uh, decaying Tillet building behind it. And that one there. Dragon Ruin, Crown Inn. Such a rip off that, isn't it? Charge you two quid just to take some cash out. So, you've got an Indian restaurant, Polish rest. well, that's shut down, surely. LGBT next to a church. Uh, I think that used to be a fucking gay bar, didn't it? Curzons or whatever it's called. Beckett's, something like that. Curzons, I think it was. Quite ironic, you've got an LGBT centre next to a church. And you've got a gay bar here, but that's been there for a long time. But, fucking hell. Horrible, isn't it? And then, just to top it all off, that decaying building over there. African just leaving church down there, but um, we've got all these boarded up buildings along here, all African Jamaican sort of bars and that. Small building for sale over there. What a shit hole. Not the best angle, is it? Another big brutalist building by the side of it as well. But there's no better irony than this. This is what caught me eye the other day. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Bright futures for young people, 2020. Obviously, 2020, we all know what began. It was the acceleration of all this. Um, fucking eyes, a hairy dog shut down as well. Looks like it. But anyway. Yeah. But yeah, what I was going to comment on, obviously, bright futures for young people. And when you've got this building behind it, kind of showing you what the future is. It's not fucking bright at all, is it? I was so grateful that uh, I knew the world as it was when I was 18, around 2006 or 7, because uh, it's not good the way it's heading at the minute. Looks like COP20. Presuming that was uh, Hasbullah, the little Russian lad, Dagestani lad. It's quite a funny light. Just draw a bouncer on there. Bramble Street, uh, this was a nightclub, just uh, when I was young, sort of, what was that, 2006, maybe seven. I remember leaving Beckett's Club, which was there, which was a bit of a grab a granny club, and walking past this, I remember it, all the flashing lights were coming out of it, and uh, Certainly not today. You got the deer at the top for Derby, Derby. 1893. Beautiful building, but obviously. It's like the decaying of the empire, really, isn't it? It's clever when you look at it like that. I'm presuming it's going to be a stadium of some sort with all the seats that are going up there. But it looks quite nice in the summertime, actually. 
and this is where the Pennine Hotel used to be. Proper I am legend feeling this. <laughs> so quiet obviously being a Sunday. And then uh, obviously all the decaying buildings all around me. You got the Irish Irish centre here. I bet that flag there was the one that I gave him a couple of years ago. I found a an Irish flag where I was working at the time. I couldn't bring myself to chuck it away because I'm uh, probably more Irish than English really. So I gave it to them. And just uh, continuing with the grimness of Derby. Might as well. Good thing about a Sunday, obviously it's quiet, it can get around. So it's in, in its defence, it's obviously a Sunday. So um, it's going to be quieter, but you ain't making this look glamorous, are you? Not only is it a big uh, brutalist this sort of a building from the 60s or 70s, it's also all shut down and uh, boarded up. For anyone who knows the area, it's around the back of sort of Pennine Hotel where that used to be. It's got a bit of a I Am Legend to vibe to it at the minute, with all the uh, vegetation growing out the side.